individualism is a hallmark of Western societies, and that's a good thing because we do expect that individual rights are observed. But it seems that some sometimes extreme individual individualism takes over, and that seems to be the case in in our society these days. Rights of the individual are important, and that the dignity of every person be respected. We're always reminded that the common good is also a very big part of the equation, individual rights and the common good. And that's why it's important that we follow God's commandments. We're invited by the scriptures always to seek peace, and peace is found when we do God's will, in particular, when we follow the commandments, because that's when we find peace, and that's when the common good is uh, most at play, and individual rights are also protected. Following God's commandments, they are not a burden, as many would say in our society, I don't want to follow the commandments because that's a burden on me. God is making me do this, or he's making me do that, or not do this, or not do that. But the paradox is that when we follow God's commandments and strive to do his will, our individual rights are protected and the common good is, is respected also. Follow the commandments and you will have peace in your lives. The peace that God wants for all of us happiness that God wants for all of us. There's a, a very popular song of, that was sung by Frank Sinatra. It's a great song, I Did It My Way. A wonderful song, but very bad theology. Our motto should be, I did it God's way. And when we follow the commandments, that's when we do it God's way. And the peace that God wants for us, we will find our individual rights will be respected, and the common good will be respected. Let us strive to live the commandments faithfully in our lives, and we can be an example for others.